Coming up, we're going to be talking about the return of Futurama Plus, a brand new Disney Plus original series, Nautilus. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. It's Thursday, it's time for your daily Disney Plus news. So let's jump into it. Let's start talking about Futurama, which was announced last week that it was going to be returning for 20 new episodes. Um, production is set to start um, later this month and set to arrive, I think, on uh, streaming services around the world next year. So it's going to be on Hulu in the United States, Star Plus in Latin America, and on Disney Plus everywhere else. Now, when they announced this one here, all the original cast were going to be returning, except for Joe DiMaggio, who plays Bender in this series. Now, there's been a bit of a backlash to the reaction that he's not in it. He's taken to social media on multiple occasions in the last week, talking about the situation, and he's provided an update on social media about the current situation. He went on to say, Hi, I've been thinking about everything that's been going on these past months, and just just to be clear, I don't think only I deserve to be paid more. Negotiations are a natural part of working in show business. Everyone has a different strategy and different boundaries. Their price, some accept offers, some hold their ground. Bender is part of my soul and nothing about this means to be disrespectful to my fans or my future Roma family. It's all about self-respect. And honestly, being tired of an industry that's become far too corporate and takes advantage of artists' time and talent. Look, I wish I could give you every detail so you would understand, but it's not my place. Thanks Thanks again for the love everyone, still hoping for the best. In the meantime, I'll be in New Orleans shooting Interview with a Vampire for AMC and very grateful to be. Thanks. Now apparently it's also been reported that Hulu have been putting out word um, for somebody else to play Bender because they're looking to recast. Now it looks like negotiations are still going on and I wouldn't be at all surprised if a deal was done. However, if they put his price up, then they're gonna have to put everybody else's price up. And there's definitely a kind of weird thing going on right now. There's a lot of people on Joe's side, but there's also a lot of other people looking at it from kind of like Disney's point of view going, well, everybody else has signed up, but you haven't. And ultimately it's all part of negotiations. And at some point, negotiations can go one way or the other and people can step away because it doesn't quite hit it. And that's gonna be the case with pretty much every negotiation at some point point there's always a breaking point of whether or not it can happen or not doesn't look like it might be happening right now but hopefully things do improve but let me know what you think of all of this in the comments below moving on from there we're going to update on a brand new series that's currently in development for hulu called the island this is being developed from adrian mckinty's novel of the same name and it's going to be an intense thriller that tells the story of a family trip that turns into a living nightmare after a tragic accident a young wife and her husband and his two children find themselves being hunted by locals in a bushland her husband doesn't really believe in her, the kids don't trust her, and the locals want to kill her. But Heather, who has been underestimated most of her life, and she knows that she's capable of bringing this family together, becoming the mother her children need, even if it means doing terrible things to keep them alive. Now, we haven't got any financial details of how much Disney have paid to get the rights to turn this into a limited series. It's still very much in the early stages. We don't even know which studio is currently working on this one, because that will indicate whether or not it's released on Disney Plus internationally around the world. World. But more different limited series like this is definitely a cool thing. And you know, if they're spending a lot of money on the rights to this book, then that's obviously a good thing. And just something original, something a bit different. So this one's going to be um, obviously arriving at some point in the future. It's still very much in the early stages. It just means now that Disney have got the rights to do it. And finally, we've got a quick update on the brand new British Disney Plus original series Nautilus, which is going to be based on the classic Jules Verne novel. For the first time ever, Nautilus tells Jules Verne epic stories from Captain Nemo's point of view. An Indian prince robbed of his birthright and family, a prisoner of the East Indian Company, and a man bent on revenge against the forces that have taken everything from him. But once Nemo sets sail with his ragtag crew on board, the awe-inspiring Nautilus, he not only battles with the enemy, but discovers a wondrous underwater world, learns to take his place as the leader of the crew, and goes on an unforgettable adventure beneath the sea. The series is going to consist of 10 episodes and a about 50 minutes each and filming is currently underway at the Village Roadshow Studios in Queensland, Australia. Shazad Latif is going to be playing the iconic role of Captain Nemo. It's also been announced that Georgina Flood, Damien Garvey and Fury Fermont have joined the Disney Plus series. I'm really looking forward to seeing this one. Um, I definitely feel like Nautilus is a story that hasn't been told recently. I mean, we did kind of get something similar to it a bit with um, Treasure Planet. 
but it's, I think, just a new live action version. It's definitely going to be a little bit different. The fact that they're filming it in Australia right now is good. Um, and it's got um, a couple of British companies also making it. So even though it's British and being filmed in Australia, I suspect it will be released everywhere as a Disney Plus original. But let me know what you think of Nautilus. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video. Later. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters.